So we're going to play a game here with uh, Red Black Reanimator, and uh, I'll be on the play. Faith is saluting, Pyroclasm, this is awful. One thing about this deck though is it does mulligan very well. Um, it needs a very small amount of things to actually go off. Uh, it does require some sort of a critical mass, but um, lands, are, lands are needed. So. We'll see what they decide to do. They're taking a look at their hand to figure out, you know, do they want to mulligan, do they want to keep it? We are, we would have two chances to show that could buy us, well, not really much time at all. And the thing is, like, even if we kept this, we have no reanimation whatsoever. So, that's sort of an issue. might have DC. There's been a lot of disconnection issues with this today. Serpa was down yesterday for a large chunk. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on. All right, they decide to mulligan. One, two, three, four, sire, five. I don't think we can keep this either. There's really nothing for us to do except for lands. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I want. Um this is a term one gristle brand. So I have no idea what we're playing against. Uh, so with it, the way that hand went turn one was uh, land, fetch out, we would fetch out a basic in this situation, uh, just a swamp, um, cast dark ritual, cast uh, collective brutality, we would escalate, um, discarding the gristle brand, and so the escalations would be target opponent reveals his or her hand, you choose an instant or sorcery card to remove it, and they discard it, and uh, target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Those have been the two modes. Um, and then we just had one more mana left over from the Dark Ritual, so we would be able to cast Reanimate, and we would have grabbed the Gristle Brand, and we would have been up two life. So instead of being at 12, we would have been at 14, um, which is solid, because then we can grab and just go. We can, we can draw the seven and move on. Like I said, you can mulligan five pretty easily with this deck. Um, three, three Gristle Brands in hand, that's all of them. Uh, we have no reanimation again. If we have reanimation, I would say let's do it. Um, so I think we're going we're gonna to ship this one again. Just nothing to do. But like this, this deck doesn't require you to have lands. Um, if you do have lands, it is always relevant to play the land first before casting your Lotus Petal, or uh, y you know use your Seeming Spear Guide to cast the Faithless Looting with a land in the battlefield. That way, if they, especially if they went first, that way if they try to daze, you can pay for it, and you still get the value out of the Faithless Looting. Um, there was a game that I recorded, uh, it only lasted for one turn, um, played against Delver, he dazed. I don't know if he didn't realize that I played a land, and I played with the Simeon Spear Guide to cast the, the, um, the uh, Faithless Looting, but he dazed it, I paid, and then he conceded on the spot, like, the match. He didn't, he didn't even play anymore. So, which is pretty annoying. I had two of those happen yesterday, where, um, turn one, they conceded the match. So, didn't even get to go to a game two or a game three to see what they had. And there's a times there there's sometimes where people don't like playing against this deck because it's a combo deck. Um but it's something they should be testing against because of the fact that it you know, this is definitely a prevalent deck in the format. He might have DC'd. Or she. Um, 
think of anything else that I can talk about regarding this while we sit here and wait. We, neither one of us have seen the other one's deck. He conceded on the mulligan, and because I kept. So. And it, it, even if he had gone to five, uh, not really where he wants to be against me, because I have a turn one Gristle Brand, and so turn one, I immediately go to seven cards in hand after putting a seven seven on the battlefield. So, I get the disconnected. I cannot tell you. Really can't type. He put an hour and a half on this game, too. It's crazy. Um, not where we want to be, but we can maybe draw out of it. I kind of want him, but I have no way of getting him onto the battlefield. So, we'll ship him. Yeah, it's not good. We need to hit right now. Because as soon as he untaps, we have a problem. Shoot, probably should play a land first, huh? You can't do that. Okay, so I know about the days. I don't give a crap about the decay or the wasteland. So we will take the force. So he's playing either Bug Delver or he could be on a variety of things with the hand that he has. See what he does. He's gonna drain me for two.
All right, now we have what we need. The problem is he has death right shaman. He can eat our stuff. So We need him to use the Deathrite Shaman to cast a spell, and we will go off and win the game. The odds of that happening I see are very slim. Pithy Needle might need to come in for this deck, out of the sideboard. class and be amazing. Um, three, four, five, six. I can grab the days. Right? Three. Four, five, six, grab the days, get a sire. Sure, we'll try it. Because right now we have we have nothing else going on with these guys. Um the only thing is it's gonna be a problem is if they have two uh Two counter spells. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're solid on this. Um, so we'll take the days. All right. And then crack a fetch. He has abrupt decay and fatal push. Swamp. Badlands. I forget. Alright, let's see what you got here, Duck. He's gonna be able to drain me for four turn, that's brutal. He might still be able to win this.
That is the best chance that I had. So Pyroclasm is definitely coming in. Um, the sneak attack and show and tells and stuff are coming in. He plays a Jace outward done. Like, complete donezo. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, though. Before I get to do anything. Let's see. Yeah, he has four. Okay, that gives me an out. He has nothing left from me, so everything is from him, but he has four spells. It's eight. I'm only at six. If he only had one death rate shaman in play, I would have been okay. Okay, need our one of. One of Pyroclasm. Show me Pyroclasm. Chancer is not it. And he wins. We were kind of in a pretty good lock there. Had nothing else to do. Like I said, if he didn't have all those death rate traumas, I'd have been okay. But yeah, definitely need uh, pithing needles. So let's figure out what, what the same changes in the sideboard for this. <laughs> So you come in. Massacre doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's take a gander here. What can we play? So I'll drop all those for that. That gives us some play. Oh, shoot. Missed the card. Alright, let me see here. We don't want to drop the Collective Brutality, those are kills. Um, a 
I still like keeping the Siren. Tide spell can go. Play it like that. I will play. Dark Ridge, Entomb, Exhum, Reanimate, Enemy Dead. We have a Simian Spirit Guide. Sure. Well, if they have a force, they have a force, and we'll find out in a second. Oops. Um, domain step. Um, what do we want to do? want a Gristle Brand? Do we want a Chancellor? I kind of want to go with Chancellor just because of the fact that, like, you can't cast spells. Um, you're not going to cast a spell, sir. It's not a one-time thing. Elshorn's a great reanimate target as well. Solely because of the fact that nothing of theirs lives. Sure, you can brainstorm. And I won the match. Alright, cool. And so that's that's another one. <laughs>